Unless the gator's nesting or mating, they'll stay away from you. But won't they do like the whole ambush predator thing? Um, like people will be like washing their clothes next to, like at the, the, the shore of some water and then they'll just like come out and bite you and grab, pull you into the water. Or wild hogs do. Ah, oh, yeah. I haven't had any um, around me in the U.S., but in Europe, several times I've had some wild hogs, boars, ripping around the woods that I've been camping in. Kind of intimidating. They've always left me alone. I think once I'm in my tent, they don't see you like as a threat um, or something they need to challenge. But if I was still on foot wandering around, I feel like I could have had a problem with some of those guys. Um, in the Pyrenees Mountains, northern Spain, I had a huge group of them ripping around my tent um, a few years ago. So I'm just deciding which things I want to put where. Ideal American breakfast for cycling? Oh, just classic, like, greasy breakfast. Um, like eggs, bacon, sausage, hash brown. It's like all the, the toast. Lots of protein, lots of fat, lots of carbs. Um, just what the doctor called for. Not really, but you know what? It's good. And when you're biking, you can literally eat anything and everything, and your body will thank you. <sighs> okay, that battery's about to die. Sorry, I'm just thinking. But yeah, I think I'll try and get a proper breakfast today. We might, like, ride a few uh, miles and just keep our eye out um, and try to get something proper and maybe some caffeine. I really have to sort out the tent though today. Like I, I, I can't sleep with the zipper gone. I'm going to be destroyed by everything that bites in the night. McDonald's breakfast sausage egg. <laughs> uh, what was that? Last time I was in the U.S., I, I got on the, the McGriddle uh, breakfast sandwich train. And uh, big fan. Big fan of the McGriddle. You guys might think that's blasphemous, but whatever. McGriddles are great. It's like, instead of like a English muffin for like the bread part of it, it's a pancake. A thick pancake. Zipper fixable. Uh, okay, so one of the zipper poles is completely gone. Like, there is nothing attached to it at all. It's completely detached. It's broken. The other one, the actual pull parts are broken, but the actual part holding the zipper together is still there. So theoretically, if I... You guys are like, WD-40! WD-40! Um, theoretically, if we got some kind of thing like that, and like it got right in there, and then just with my pliers, we like pulled it. We, like maybe we could salvage it, um, but I don't know. Outdoor World, Florida Sportsman there, and Isla Morata, you have 10 issues. Outdoor World, Florida Sportsman there. I should probably call, unless it's on the way. Do you know if it's backtracking or not? It's okay if you don't like, <laughs> cause you probably don't know where I am in Isla Morata. You're like, I know that bush. Hitch is right here. It's right on his way to this sports shop. Um, just if you're watching yesterday, you might know if I already passed it back down the highway. Um, that battery's still some charge. Sorry, I'm just figuring out my battery situation. <laughs> Me and that bush go a long way, yeah. <laughs> Very familiar with that bush. Let's just chuck everything in a pannier and deal with... These are my tapes that I used to uh, tape my zipper shut last night. The tape does, this tape does not stick to a zipper very well. Whatever, just go in the pocket. That's fine. Uh... 
We'll just chuck that in there. Yeah, okay, we're pretty much good to go. Well, good to load up the bike. We'll just take a few minutes. Uh, I don't, I think I'll keep it on this camera until we get out and I'll keep the subway plastic bag protecting the, uh, the action camera mount, the third person camera until we get out of this bush because I kind of got a bushwhack to get out um, and the camera's just gotta get, gonna get smacked around. Yeah, let's spin you guys around. I'm gonna load up the bike here. Let's see if I can put this action mounted phone so it doesn't get knocked around as we walk. Again, hopefully the audio isn't getting all mangled. There's a bike. Actually, really nice bit of bush here. I have really not seen a bush like this since I've been in Key West, or uh, Florida Keys on this trip. Every bike service trip? Yeah, I did. It was a big service too. I, um, like the rear wheel, like I, it was cracked, like the, um, the rim, the whatever. Like I had broken it, <laughs> uh, which I hadn't realized. But yeah, the bike, guys at the shop are doing a full service. Um, already before that, um, we had to replace brake pads. My cassette, the rear cassette was, uh, gone. Get this thing back here. Um, so they had to replace that and new chain. Um, ran new cables along it. Um, the front hub was uh, pretty rough sounding, so they were going to investigate that. Um, yeah, and then when they were doing it, they called me and they're like, Yeah, so you're. Um, Rear tire. She's cracked. Walmart, 49.1 miles away that sells zipper repair kits. What is, what do you, what is, what is a zipper repair kit? Is my problem fixable with a zipper repair kit? Maybe. Just, the actual zipper pulls are gone, so I need, like, the right size. Well, except for that, well, there's one still attached, it's just fused in place. Anyway. 
Tents fall apart after three to four months. <laughs> they shouldn't. I still have my Marmot Tungsten 1P. I use that thing hundreds and hundreds of nights. It's still fine. Zipper break first night. The zipper was like corroded and stuck the first night. And I just kind of like manipulated it around. Like just went uh, to break off some of that corrosion from me forgetting to let the tent dry out after Spain, which is 100% my fault. Uh, this zipper failing is, is not a, a manufacturer problem. It's not a design problem. It's a my ineptitude problem. So the only person to blame and the only one I'm mad at is myself. Comes with new zipper pulls, new tracks, six different zipper pull size in the kit. Okay, yeah, maybe I should get that. That sounds appropriate for our current problem. This zipper repair kit. All right, it's most bags here. Almost done. Looking at the ground here, see if I left anything behind. But yeah, here we go. That's these guys. You know, that corrosion, that's a, that's a me problem. so they're not dangling and then yeah we should be good to go you sleep well uh, honestly not particularly last night Once I was like settling in and starting to get cozy, that's when zipper problem started. And I was like trying to figure out how to make that not as broken as it was. Okay, this is like the more zoomed in. Okay. All right. So where do you sleep? Uh, Kind of like behind this little leafy bit here. Heh. <laughs> there. Um, yeah, we're just all packed up now. Ready to get out of the bush. Maybe I'll go front view for a little bit. Wide angle? Well, that camera stuff is kind of in the way. Oh. Sorry. Oh, that's probably not great for your 
nausea levels. Okay. Eh, it's still kind of in frame. Let's just start walking this way. Close to that smoothie place? Yeah. Like, not right next to it, but like in the vicinity. I gotta awkwardly lean the bike because this branch is uh, too low for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the pole. Actually, it's easier this way because it's leaning onto the high side when I came in last night. facing the other way, which was worse. Sorry, this, um, it's impossible to do this smoothly. Oh, yeah. Forgot about you. My antenna cables hitting the spokes. Less than ideal. Trail. Like, it's pretty overgrown, so coming through here, I, I didn't feel like there'd be people. So this is probably really shaky. Um, I didn't think there'd be people rummaging around in the night or first thing in the morning, so I felt pretty secure. Crying. Yeah, it's so much foliage. Like, I'm pushing 2500 bitrate out of my phone right now, but it's just all this green stuff. Encoders really struggle with it. They're not gonna scare in the night. Most of people might ghost or something. Like, just if I'm in a place where people shouldn't be, there's no logical reason for them to be unless they're doing something like exactly what I'm doing hitchhiking, cycling, anything like that. Um, like just I, people don't stumble into me in a, in a bit of bush if I'm properly tucked away. I've camped many hundreds of nights in my life in the woods, and it's, people just don't like stumble up to my tent. Back to civilization. Let's get the uh, third person POV set up and then we can uh, start riding down the road, find some breakfast, and try to maybe fix the, uh, the zipper pull at some point. Otherwise, I don't know what we're doing for sleeping because I need that. In this, in Florida, you need your zipper on your tent. It's just. You're gonna get eaten alive. Wow, I really taped this on good, didn't I? There we go. My subway bag has holes in it now. I guess I have to replace that. <laughs> You've done good, subway bag. I'm proud of you. You made it two nights. It's because the bushwhacking part. It's getting caught on branches and stuff. You buy a mosquito net? Like have the tent open and there's have a mosquito net inside? That's, that could probably be, like work in a pinch. How do you suspend a mosquito net? I guess I could just like 
suspend it to the top of my tent or something. Like as a very short term solution, maybe. The tent would still protect me from the elements if we're getting any rain or anything. And the mosquito net would do the rest. The bugs. All right. Here's the new camera. In a waterproof case that I cut open the back of. come undone at some point here. Let's keep an eye on it. It's windy today. It looks like it'll be a headwind. It was windy yesterday as well, but... Okay, you're almost empty. I'll have to actually charge batteries today as well. So I should do. empty. Yeah, this one's pretty much empty. Mango. Australian low crush. No sugar. Go to the best burger shop near you. Only place to find tent type outdoor stuff you may need. Alright, I'll. Before we leave, I'll just look at. I'll Google outdoor stores. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, we're good.
Oh, I lost chap, so I'm resetting my router so we can um, get this guy set up. I don't know why it needs me to reset it, it just does. It's gonna be a headwind. Although maybe once I turn left, heading on to towards mainland Florida, um, it might not be. Yeah, it shouldn't be a full tailwind. Or sorry, it shouldn't be a full headwind. But I think we got 20 miles until that turn off. I put my phone. Oh no, that's the phone. Cherry, you're stupid. Sometimes. See, what do I want to do? <sighs> oh yeah, I wanted to see if um, my encoder is connected. Oh, my gloves are falling apart. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Encoder, what's she up to? We got video. So I'll switch over. I'll turn this off, you'll pr hopefully switch right to this. I'll just have to swap the mic over. You probably will have zero audio when I first switch over. So, just keep that in mind. Be right back. Desyncing. How fun is that? Good now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, 
constant technical problems. Lots of fun. Okay, we're pretty much packed up. Oh, I will have to pull up my phone and figure out where we're going, maybe to try and figure out this zipper situation. I've never broken a zipper. I don't think on anything. Uh, get over it with the gifted sub to Amber by the Shore. Get over it. Thank you very much. Question one of five, got text message. How likely are you to recommend T-Mobile to your friends and family? Please reply on a zero to, <laughs> zero to 10 scale. T-Mobile, at least offer me something to do your survey. Okay, um, maps. Sports store? We'd have to backtrack five kilometers, something like that. There's a Bass Pro Shop. Is there anything in front of us? Not for a ways. That's annoying. I'm not sure what to do. The only thing showing for outdoor sports shops in front of us on Stone Floor Keys is a place called Sandal Factory. I don't think they'll help us. That's right. I just don't really want to backtrack 5K. And then it's a it's a 10 kilometer journey and no guarantee it's actually going to solve anything. Oh, it's only 9 a.m. Yeah, okay. They're probably not even open. What time do they open? That's a good point. I forgot about the whole time thing. Yeah, they open at 10. Uh, <laughs> I'm just not really sure what to do if we get to tonight and that's not sorted. Like, I guess I could try to get keep cheap combination tonight. Zip situation. Okay, so uh, quick rundown. I, I, you know, rode through Spain and Portugal last year, finished mid December. Uh, and just in my brain, my tent was dry when I packed it up. It was not dry, uh, it was wet because when I started this trip and I took my tent out and shook it open, it was damp. And then when I got to the zipper, it was just really corroded because it was just a metal zipper wet for four months. Um, I managed to like knock off a bunch of the corrosion and it worked that night without too much worries. Last night it failed. Uh, it just broke. Um, it was still together enough that it was kind of zipping with some big gaps where the zipper wasn't zipping together correctly. And I just like taped over those and called it a night and I'm like I'll sort it out tomorrow because it's nighttime. I'm in the bush and I don't have the patience for this right now. Um, and then in the morning I went to muck about with it more and it full on broke, so I don't have a zipper anymore. I'll show your equipment after trip. Oh, like, absolutely. It's just me being dumb. Like, I'm not blaming anyone or anything or any, it's, it, well, I am blaming someone, me, but, uh, let's see.
I'm just looking at breakfast places right now. I want like a proper something, I think, this morning. Yesterday I ran off of cookies until lunch. It's a little too bougie. This is a, like a very nice tent, and it's not a cheap tent. I don't particularly want to replace it. Well, I need to get a new tent for me and Sarah, but yeah. So we store up in Homestead and Kendall? Okay, well anyway, let's go breakfast. And yeah. Hopefully sort that out today. It's kind of cold with that wind. The heck? I have Z-Packs free trio. Oh, you have the freestanding uh, Z-Packs. They just started making those, didn't they? That's cool. I was considering uh, getting the freestanding version. Or can't you get like a, even if you already have like a, a duplex or something like that from z -Packs, you can get a conversion kit to make it freestanding when you want it to be freestanding. Like it adds weight, of course, because you need the extra poles, but um, yeah. Freestanding is quite convenient. The tents are gonna weigh more and not pack down quite as small because you just need more hardware to make it work, but in good conditions. You don't have to stake it down or anything. It's just, just chuck it out and it's fine. Separate insect net and attach that with tape or something. Fix the problem later. I just don't know how we'd integrate that. <laughs> um, like maybe, I, I just, I don't know. Like I'm gonna start with my sweater on, I think, because it's not particularly warm with that wind. my sunglasses. What was our final distance yesterday? It was a solid, solid day on the bike. Also, I have to check the... This doesn't look bad. 
Anyway, you guys can tell me if it's the uh, angle of the camera is a little off. <clears throat> Sen Horib Birina. Sen Horib Birina. With the sub, thank you very much. Welcome to the Twitch Bikers. Appreciate it. I probably butchered that. The, the name of this. Alright, now to throw on the sunglasses that a lot of you don't like, it's fine. I like them. Well, I, I like riding with them. They just feel much more, you know, protects me from the wind, the breeze. I have full coverage. I'm not having the sun coming in the sides or any, like, glare. 127.4 kilometers yesterday. Yeah, it's solid. In the cycle touring world, 124 kilometers isn't actually that much. I met people that would, like, average 200 kilometer days. Don't know how, but they did. Uh, let me just final check over everything. Uh-huh, yeah, those are bags that are attached. I think we're fine. We're ready to rock and roll. And you barely ate. I know, my appetite is not kicked into gear yet. It's a problem. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to tuck this hood in. I probably won't wear this jacket, this sweater for long, but it's a pain having a hood out because it just flaps around in the wind. Sunscreen. Let me get breakfast. It's only a probably a 20 minute ride. It's 9 a.m. The UV shouldn't be too crazy yet. And then when we stop there, we'll get all that sorted. Those pink diapers. So is that a brand of sunglasses? Like these are o uh, Oakley Sutros, which are became pretty popular in the cycling world like a couple years ago. And you can get the frames in my color, the color of my bike, that is. And I just thought that was cool. On the road again. <sighs> Holy. We've got a uh, worth the grind with the two month reset. Hold up. And then the gift itself. We'll I'm going to stop for this one real quick. <sighs> Uh, thanks so much uh, for you being you and, and enjoying sharing your travels with us. This is a small hurdle for an incredible journey. It's definitely worth the grind trip. Hey, thank you very much. Worth the grind. Uh, right after that, you also gifted five subs. Appreciate the positivity. The sub yourself, the nice message, and the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Worth the grind. Did you make that name just for that? <laughs> Definitely worth the grind. Um, no, I really appreciate it. If you're gifted sub, welcome to the Twitch Bikers. We won't always be biking. I'm hoping by later this year I'll be back to the hitchhiking, which is why this channel is called Hitch, if you're new here. Hitchhiked all over the place. Been picked up about 1,100 times on stream. Oh yeah, that's some headwind. Oh, feels good, man. Also, my butt hurts. I think it's a combination of, well, four months not on the bike, and uh, I weigh more. I've gained like 20 pounds or something like that. So there's just more weight pushing down on my booty. Kona Sutra, Oakley Sutro? I know, right? <laughs> They're so close in name. It just, it, it fits. With a sore butt, like, after a few kilometers of riding, you just, you know, it warms up to it. But uh, when you first get on the bike for the day at the beginning of a trip, that tender booty is a thing.
nice like uh, bike path here. It's like designated bike path. I've got my own like laned thing and then there's like a separate like no man's land. It's good. How about getting a bike with a motor? It like defeats the purpose of what I want out of these trips. I like knowing that under my own power I got from A to B. I find each day very satisfying because of that. Now I'm probably going to curse this headwind pretty shortly here, but <laughs> and wish I had a motor for this stint. But I don't know. Some just knowing that physically I got to my destination, my own power, fueled by probably by most people's standards, horrible food. Just like unhealthy food. Lots of grease, fat. Body will take it all. Probably worth the grind with another five gift subs. Really appreciate the support and positivity. Thank you very much. And for the uh, these five as well, if you're a gifted sub, welcome to the Twitch Bikers. But uh, yeah, we definitely need some hitch thumbs and hearts for worth the grind. Look at that Florida Keys on the maps. Let you know a little strip. Yeah, like to be honest, I've never actually zoomed in on a map of the Florida Keys. I've heard of the Florida Keys. <laughs> People say they're nice, but I've never actually looked at them before. I was like trying to figure out where to go on this trip. Oh, there's the there's this ice cream smoothie place we went to yesterday. So that's how far away we were. Just like a kilometer down the road. Just like did a tire hit a water bottle and chuck it at me, or did he just chuck a water bottle at me? I'm gonna go with the first one because I prefer that one. I don't know if you guys saw that water bottle skip right in front of the bike. Is it a piss ball? Nah, it's, it's clear. Unless this truck driver is super hydrated. As far as I can tell, it's just water. I bet there's no police officers in these police cars. They like to do that. Uh, I think these run in parallel. I think this is my bike lane. I'm not sure. I think it is. You can always cross over. <laughs> Just wanted you to stay hydrated, yeah. Watch out for bad drivers. Yeah, I, I've heard around here it's not the best. People don't really uh, respect cyclists. Cops dock poop in Florida must be different. Yeah, like the only problem I should run into them with is camping. Uh, and people said they actually do patrol like the coastline here because um, smuggling and stuff or something with our proximity to Cuba or something. But uh, I don't know. Also, I could have gotten away with some. Probably. No, oh, it's tough to get into these bushes here. But well, these are proper bush. Well, photo keys. There's an entrance to like a trail through there. Probably could have camped in there. These are nice bushes. Sorry. 
once you like travel like I do, and every day you're like sleeping in the woods somewhere, you just like, <laughs> no matter where in the world you are, whether you're on a trip that you need to be camping or not, when you see like a nice bit of bush, you just gotta like <laughs> inspect it, appreciate it. You know. Hey, you gotta respect the bush. I don't know why I decided to go around that random patch of asphalt. It's a decent headwind. It's gonna be slow going. And then, like when you don't have a headwind, like you can feel like you can coast sometimes and you don't lose too much momentum by just taking a 10 second break and coasting. But with a headwind, if you, if you stop, you just feel like you'd go down to nothing instantly. Did it look like you threw <laughs> You very well could have. Now, likely would have been a passenger. Well, it could have opened the passenger window from the driver's seat and threw it straight out the side. It'd just be harder. Because you'd have to be throwing it like across the passenger seat at the side. Or it could have been he had a passenger with him and the passenger shocked it at me. But driver's seat isn't the ideal position to throw a water bottle at a cyclist that you're passing. <laughs> Can we discuss the logistics of someone throwing a water bottle at me? this is a continuation of the bike lane? I'm not really sure, to be honest. There's no shoulder or anything on the right side. Usually I wouldn't be on this side of the road. Now that was the first vehicle that's like passed me on this secondary road since I've been on it, so not only it really matters when there's no cars, you can kind of do what you want. Get on the ground and chuck it at your head. Give me water. Well, it, it, being a truck driver doesn't make you inherently good at throwing things. Careful secondary roads and the keys that went to dead ends. I, yeah, this could very well could dead end. I was, I think I was looking through like this area and there's like the old highway and then the one we were on was like the new highway. So this was like the old main road. I don't know. I could, could be completely wrong, but you know, that's part of the adventure. I am still only like 50 meters from the uh, main road, so. Any of these uh, intersections that I'm coming up on, like there's a stop sign up here. If I want to get on the main road, I just turn left and I'm right back on it. This is just a little more peaceful. Let's say, oh yeah, yeah, that sign there says bike path only. The diamond is apparently a bike path only. I'll take it. Easy commute on this trip? Yeah, I have been so far. Uh, like it, it really hasn't been that needed. It's been, well, a few times I've actually referenced it. But in general, like we've just been following the one road and a lot of times there's a path. Sometimes it's on the left side of the road, sometimes it's on the right side of the road. 
and you kind of have to weave back and forth sometimes. But it hasn't been that complicated navigating. Boston or Diamond, who traveled one of more passes. Yeah, it's in Canada, it's the same. Usually, Diamond is an HOV lane, high occupancy vehicle lane. Uh, yeah, here it's apparently a bike lane. How's the night? Uh, I didn't sleep that great. We were having problems with the tent zipper. It's kind of frustrated about that. Essentially, I don't have a tent zipper anymore, so my tent is open to bugs. Place you're heading to? Uh, we're heading up to North Carolina. I'm starting to get hot in this sweater. I'll have to take it off soon here. Seized or broken? Ah, oh, it's. Well, okay. One of the zipper pulls is completely broken, like it's gone. Broken half, and it's no longer attached. The other one has been seized for a while. Um, and has no zipper pulls on it because those broke off. Buy a new tent. Like, uh, this tent is definitely worth repairing. It's just whether we can figure out how to repair it on this trip. It's not a cheap tent, and it's, it's quite a good tent. The, what I could think of doing would be to get a tent that would work for me and Sarah to go on a trip with. The only thing would be that tent's going to be way too big for what I want to use on this trip. Like it'll be a two or three person tent. And like it's, it's hard in some like, in a lot of the, the woods and stuff I go into to find a tent big or a spot big enough to put a two or three person tent in, especially three person. Sale repair shop? Would they do zippers? Now my zipper is like super super like thin and small. I feel like any zippers they'd work on in a sailing kind of outfit would be like much more heavy duty. these zippers. Maybe we'll stop by and see if I see one or I'll look one up. Is it, yeah, I want another I have to sort something out because it's not it's not usable in its current condition. I'm gonna be eaten alive. Like yeah it'll protect me from any kind of wind and rain. It still protects me from the elements but it's like I'm going to be eaten alive. Mosquitoes love me. All bugs seem to enjoy my blood. Dry clearance to repairs, but it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday, isn't it? Like, okay. 
Maybe, so I could contact z -Packs. I know they do do repairs of their tents. And be like, hey, monitor, can I mail you my tent and pick it up as I pass through? Because I think it's on the way, where they're based out of. Um, and in the meantime, buy a tent that me and Sarah could use on our next trip together and use that oversized large tent for the meantime until I get to the z -Pax location, pick up my tent, and then mail <laughs> the new tent home that I can use with, uh, with Sarah on the next trip, and then boom. <laughs> Problem solved. Although I don't think there's gonna be a a store today that I'll pass that'll sell like a, a good tent for our purposes. Velcro with stick back. It has to be a long strip of Velcro, or just like put a bunch of like small patches of Velcro, and there'll just be a little gaps, but it'll stop most of the bugs. Craft on a small, more ideal tent for you. Like, I'm 100% not going to throw out this tent. It's it should be easily fixable by someone that knows how to do a zipper. Because that's the only problem with it, is it's a zipper. Um, like it's a really good tent. <laughs> uh, and I already have like two other one-man tents back in Canada. I don't... Like I could be like, hey, oh, no, no, it's in Kelowna. Be like, hey, mom. Can you go find my tent in storage and send it to me? Or my marmot tungsten one PUL. Let's use my freestanding tent for the rest of the trip. I wonder how much it would ship. I, I'd need it like express shipped. Probably half the cost of the tent itself. Because those marmot tungsten tents are actually a good deal. They're only like 200 bucks. Uh, they've probably gone up since I bought mine. I think I got mine for like 179. Oh, but that was the non-UL version. Hey! We got Yiver. And with a raid. Thank you very much, Yiver. Uh, we geocaching today. How was it? Get some clips to pin it so you can get it fixed. Like just some safety pins or something. Like, yeah, maybe. As a stopgap measure, like I'd like to not have to safety pin my tent for the rest of this trip, like a few weeks long. Buy a repair kit and DIY stream. Yeah, we were gonna try if we made it to an outdoor store to buy a zipper repair kit. Apparently, someone said, because my zipper's just so small. It's like, it's designed to be super lightweight. I'm not even sure if like Z-Packs has their own kind of zipper thing because they specifically made this tent to be like the lightest tent possible. Um, so I'm just not sure if in a mass produced zipper repair kit, if uh, there will be an appropriate zipper for what I have. 